first reading was rather long tonight, but it's a beautiful story about Tobiah and taking Sarah to be his wife. And as you heard, the situation was that um, she was given in marriage to seven other men, and each one of them died on the wedding night. And so I imagine that Tobiah was a bit nervous um, with what had happened to her in the past. But notice what he does. He, when they get to their room the night of the wedding, when it's all formalized by her father, he says, let's get up and pray. And the two of them pray from the depths of their heart, talking about how God created Adam and Eve to love and support one another, and talking about how great God is. And they ask the Lord to shower his blessings upon their love. And of course, they got up the next morning very healthy and very happy. And God did shower his blessings upon them. And we move to the gospel and we see that uh, Jesus is speaking about love as well. In the reading from, from T Tobit, we're talking about married love, which is a very special kind of love, where two people commit themselves to one another for life, and in doing so, promise to love each other all the days of their life until death do them part. And it's a, it's a sign of God's love in the world. It's so total, it's so self-giving, it's so complete, that it's very much like the love of God, and that's the vocation of married people, to witness God's love in the world. We should look at married couples and say, see how they love each other? That's how much God loves us. And in the gospel, they're still trying to trip Jesus up like they did the other day about the, the taxes. Should we pay our taxes or not? And Jesus, of course, says, give to God what's God's and to Caesar what's Caesar's. And today now they're asking, which is the greatest commandment? A question that they thought they could surely stump him on because they had 612 commandments and they were sure that Jesus couldn't handle this one. But he does so, so very beautifully as only Jesus can. He quotes two commandments from the Old Testament, one from the book of Deuteronomy, which says that you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your whole being. And the second is like it, love your neighbor as yourself, which is from the book of Leviticus in the Old Testament. The Lord was able to sum up all the commandments in two simple commandments, love God above all things and your neighbor as yourself. And some would say that doesn't really give much detail as to all the, the, the things that the Lord wants us to do and not do. But he's putting an umbrella over it all and saying, if your act is loving, if what you're about to do, if what you're about to say is loving towards God and loving toward someone else and loving toward yourself, then it's of God. And if it is not, then it's sin. The opposite of love is sin. And so it makes it very simply stated, but sometimes complicated to live. Married couples struggle each day of their life to stay in love with each other. And we struggle to stay in love with God. Um, and but we persevere, the Lord helps us to persevere. And so tonight we're, we're just reminded that we, that we are to carry that love of God that he's given us out to one another each day of our lives. And if we do, we're going to find ourselves in eternity with the Lord. Let us stand and offer our prayers and petitions.